Hi everyone, it's Chris. Welcome to my dollhouse. And I'm here to introduce Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy. Now these are the anniversary, 100 year anniversary edition. And I'm quite happy to have them. They were, were they came in a pair, so it's even better. Um, true vintage Raggedy Ann's and Raggedy Andy's are quite rare and expensive so I was lucky to find these two I'm at a reasonable cost even though they're not true vintage they are based on the original so Raggedy Ann came first of course I'll give you some information in the comments section in the description section I'm not too sure about Raggedy Andy when he got on the scene whether he was just an adjunct to Raggedy Ann um, it's interesting. Some say that Raggedy Ann is haunted, of course, and if you've seen the um, uh, the, the movie, <laughs> um, you'll notice that Raggedy Ann is haunted. She's a haunted doll, but in the movie, of course, they replaced Raggedy Ann with another doll to make her look more spooky, I suppose, but the original um, haunted doll is Raggedy Ann. And I'll give you a bit more information about that in the description box too. Um, I don't know. Uh, she doesn't look spooky to me. And I haven't had any trouble with her. So um, she's quite, I'm quite lucky to find them. So they sit with my other rag dolls and my other dolls in the, in the shelf. So um, I'm quite happy to have them. I'm going to look a bit more information about Raggedy Andy because I don't know when he hit the scene whether he was um, just a, an afterthought or not there's not much information about him but Raggedy Ann of course has a history and one that's quite interesting if you want to go into that um, I'll give you a link or two if you want to, um, to venture in there um, but otherwise uh, yeah, these are my newest edition. So they're here today with a yes or no maybe answer for you. So if you have a question that you would like a yes or no answer to and you're quite happy to have just yes or no with not too many um, uh, variations, think about your question and I will get the cards ready. So one... Two, or three. You choose which set of cards you would like the answer to come from and while you're thinking of your question I will shuffle number ones and see what comes up for you. So let's start with number one. So number one, have you decided your question that you can have a yes or no maybe answer to? Let's have a look and see. I'm shuffling the cards. So number one, your answer is no. It would have always been no. There's not a two-way thing with this one. Though you do have the two of diamonds, which... Uh, spades, I'm sorry to say, uh, two of spades, which is a no, um, but it's, there's a decision to be made. You can be happy with the no, or you could change it possibly, um, but there's certainly a decision to be made um, for you um, to further investigate, perhaps. But at the moment, it's no, it will always be no in the way that you've voiced your question, Perhaps if you change the way you ask the question, there might be a different answer. But with the question as asked, it's no, but there is a decision to be made. So a fine balancing line here that could tip the balance, um, but it's up to you to decide whether that's true or not. Okay, so thank you. Number 
to let's have a look at your deck and see what might be coming through for you um, to ask your question yes no maybe is your response here So let's go. You ready? Your answer. Drum roll, please. Ace of Diamonds. It's a yes at the moment. Definitely um, needs to be worked on, though. Uh, it's not as clear cut as it would seem, but it is opening up opportunities for you. Um, and the door is sort of partially open at the moment and the universe is saying if you want to fully experience this, open the door. So, yes, um, the door is open. Whether or not you want to walk through that door and take full advantage of the answer, it's entirely up to you, of course, but the universe is providing an extension to... Um, this experience so it's up to you whether or not you take it so thank you number three while I'm shuffling the cards think of your question and you'll receive a yes no answer Drum roll, please. Are you ready for your answer? The answer is yes. It's a ten of diamonds, which is the ten of pentacles. It's a happy conclusion, if that is what you want, and one that is quite fulfilling. The hard slog is over, and the reward is imminent. So, yes, the reward is imminent. So, if you're quite happy with that, um, to your question... Um, I'm, I'm glad, I'm really glad because this is such a, a really pow powerful positive card um, indicating um, the end of hard work and a reward that is worthy of you um, at the end of it so if your question, um, you wanted your question to be answered with a yes um, it's definitely on its way to you so thank you, number three so, okay, everyone, that was a bit of a mixture of answers. I hope they were relevant to you and um, were what you wanted. So, thank you very much for joining me with Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy. And I will see you again later in the Doll's House. Many blessings.